So, negative 6. Uh, negative 6 p squared. When, uh, what this is, guys, this is a monomial multiplied by, by itself. So a couple things we need to remember about this, because a lot of students make <coughs> this initial error. They, they say that, they kind of forget about the parentheses, and they give us an answer, which is a wrong answer, of negative 6 p squared. Let me kind of show you why this is not going to be correct. Okay? So negative p6 or negative 6 p squared, first thing, guys, we need to remember what x what our exponents mean. x to the first just gives us means x multiplied itself one time, which is x. x squared means x times x, right? Correct? It doesn't even really matter what's in what is what's being squared, if it's an x or something else. What it means is whatever's being squared is multiplied by itself. So if I said xy squared, that would mean xy times xy. You guys see that? Whatever's inside your parentheses that's being squared, that's being multiplied by itself. So therefore, this really equals a negative 6p times a negative 6p. Okay? Which is going to give you now a positive 36, and p times p gives you p squared. Okay? So that's going to be your correct answer rather than just the negative, P6, uh, negative 6p squared. The other way you guys can look at this is also remember that this square, you can say, is going to distribute to both of my terms. Hold on one second. So this becomes negative 6 squared p squared, which is a positive 36 p squared. Okay. Hold on. Ward.